Hey, welcome back. I'm Carissa, and today I'm going to be starting some of my most early vegetable seeds. It is February, and it is very, very early, but I am going to get ahead of the game specifically with my peppers. Um, in the past, I have struggled. I don't know if I've ever gotten more than a couple peppers, <laughs> unfortunately. So this year, I am going to be starting mine a little bit early, and I did even change my variety. Um, so this is a mini bell mix. The days to maturity or harvest for this one are 70 to 90 days. So I'm thinking that will give me tons of time um, to get it out there and to get some peppers off of this plant. And plus they're super, super cute colors. So I'm going to be starting that one. I'm also going to be starting um, jalapeno peppers. Um, I really enjoy jalapenos, so I'm going to be doing this. I grew these last year. Um, they're the same seeds, and I think they'll do well again, but I didn't get that many off of them, so I'm thinking starting them early will give them tons of time. And then a few cool, loving vegetables. I've got onions. Uh, this is a scallion called apache, apache or apache. I grew these last year, they did really well, but onions do like cold weather, so I'm thinking I might be able to get more than one harvest if I start them early. And then I have a cabbage. This is the early Copenhagen market. I did grow this last year, it did well, um, but like I said, I wanna get a head start so that I can get maybe a little bit more harvest. I really enjoy the vegetable garden. Um, I think it's always beautiful, it always looks abundant, but I'm not always harvesting that much from my vegetable garden. So this year I'm gonna really try and fine tune my schedule, my succession planting, um, starting specific crops a little bit earlier, and then again planting later, um, maybe late summer or fall, to get an additional harvest time. And then the last thing I'm starting is called uh, pumpkin on a stick. And this is called red ruffle eggplant. So I'm guessing it's in the eggplant family. Um, it, my package is opened, which means I grew it before, but I don't remember actually seeing it. So I'm gonna give this one another go and see what becomes of it. So those are the varieties I'm starting today. I plan to use my uh, two inch, I believe this is a two inch soil blocker. This is my big one. I do have the three quarter inch one as well. But with vegetables, they do seem to grow a little bit faster. So I'll be doing that. And typically, these are just leftover lunch containers I buy from Costco. I can usually get eight um, little soil blocks in here. So I'll be doing eight of each of those, which I think will be plenty. I might even be able to give some away, especially this. I don't think I need eight of these. It's more of an experiment. I've pre-moistened my soil mix. I usually just use potting soil. Um, that's, that's typically okay to use with your soil blockers. I will build all of my soil blocks, and then we will sow these seeds together. I have put together five of my little containers. Some of them have six and some of them have eight, so just depending on how many of these crops I actually need. Peppers, I will definitely do the most of. Our family loves peppers, um, and I'm really looking forward to having fresh peppers right out of the garden. So peppers are a warm season crop. I will be putting these on my heat mat just to make sure that their temperature uh, stays correctly for germination. I purchased this seed packet this year, so I'm just gonna be plunking um, one seed in per hole, because I usually have pretty good germination um, rate success with my peppers. Um, and anyway, eight is plenty. So there they are, and I cover all of my freshly planted um, seeds with vermiculite. It just really helps with um, deterring fungus growth and also with managing the moisture content. And a label. And there we go. Next, I will be doing cabbage. And I think I'll do six cabbage because I don't typically need that many. And I will probably succession sow cabbage because it is nice to have it sort of um, consistently throughout the summer. These are old seeds, so I probably will add two um, per block.
Cabbage is a cool season vegetable, so no heat mat for this one. And next is the scallion, Apache. And there is the Apache scallion. It is also a cool season crop, so no heat map for this one. Next is pumpkin on a stick. Have you grown this? I'm curious. Let me know if this is pretty cute in person. Uh, the seeds look like pepper seeds. And these are old seeds, so I'll be doing um, at least two per hole. And last we have our jalapenos. Last year I grew these. I did not grow enough to um, can, but I did buy um, a big flat. I don't know how many pounds it was of the jalapenos, but I had a big flat of them. I chopped them up and I made candied jalapenos and they were phenomenal. Really nice with like crackers and cheese. And like I said, old seeds, so I'll be doing um, a couple per block. Well, that is it. I did about five varieties um, and I'm really, really enjoying just sort of plugging away every week, just doing a few varieties, whether it's a vegetable or a fruit. Um, it just doesn't seem as overwhelming then. Um, so I've got a little bit started. I've got lots more to come. Um, yeah, and it's, it's really nice to get your hands into the soil and start thinking about warmer days ahead. Let me know what you started already. Um, it's really interesting to see your comments and to know what you are growing and what you've started already. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.